Hello, Olya. Hi, Andrei. Sorry if I'm keeping you from your work. No, no, no. I always have time for a cup of coffee before I work. Anyway, I've ordered for two. <laughs> you take it light, don't you? With milk, right? That's right. That's right. Thank you. <sighs> so, how are things at work? It's fine. That's good. I was upset when you were forced to quit your job when Yana fell into a coma. It was a hard time for all of us, but I'm glad that you're doing a lot better now. I believe we all are. <laughs> yes. Andre. Yes. Do you love Yana? <laughs> you don't. Okay. Olya Valentinovna. I love your daughter. That's what matters. Hmm? You're a very nice couple. You're perfect for each other. Thank you. I'll be straight with you. I have a very strong feeling that Yana was looking forward to marrying you, but you keep putting it off for some reason. If it's because you don't have enough money for the wedding, I'd be happy to help you. I have some money saved up, and Anna promised to help with both organizing the wedding and paying for it, so... Did Anna herself offer to help? Yes, we've been talking about it since yesterday. Just think about it. If you and Anna do decide to get married, you have my blessing. We'll help with all the preparations from the wedding to getting settled after it. Thank you. Olya Valentinovna, I'll think about it. Good morning, Lesya. May I? Hello, come in. How are you doing? Thanks, I'm fine. I have a couple of questions. Since Anna's busy, I thought you might be able to help me. Gladly. Go ahead, ask. It's about your business's present marketing strategy, and particularly Tricassi Silicatbud. Mm-hmm. What about it? I'm listening. Let's say that the factory is working on a plan for the distribution of a new product. If the production costs are too high and need to be brought down quickly, how can we safely do it? Now that's a complicated question, even for an expert businessman. <laughs> are you that interested in business marketing? <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's take... as an example... Our brand new red-colored brick wall over there. Okay. Listen, look here, here's the scheme. Yes? I like it, we can start working on it. It would be nice to show a video of this mansion before the restoration. Do we have any? It would help us highlight the results of the restoration work. I agree. However, 10 years ago, nobody could have known we'd be filming this house. I looked through the archive and found nothing. Is the script ready? It's almost ready. Excuse me. Yes? Hi. Yes, I recognize you. Timofey Vadimovich. Oh, wow. Thank you for your generous offer. Working at one of Kiev's prominent TV channels. However, I'm happy in Cherkasi. Now that Mria TV is launching a series of new projects. Yes, at Mria TV. Yes. The salary, too. Okay, listen, Timofey Vadimovich. I don't need more time. I made my decision. Goodbye. A young girl like no other won't find another pretty girl like me. Uh, 
<laughs> Olya, where have you been? We've had to open without you. I was busy doing some errands. <laughs> There's no one like you. Uh... Hmm. <gasps> the dough. It's time to start the dough. Hi, I'm Luba, a girl like no other. What are you waiting for? Uh, and I'm Zoria. Let's go to the beach, yeah? Uh -huh. <laughs> you chatterboxes. Hello, yes, honey. Mom, did you meet with Andre? Have you talked to him about the wedding? I did, and I have. I don't think we should meddle. I only confused him. Men have to make these decisions themselves, you know, Anna. I'm not pushing Yana and Andri to the altar anymore. Let them decide. I understand. Easy it. Is it that hard to say yes to a good offer? You only have to marry my sister, and you can go to Kiev. That's best for everyone. This idiot again. What does he want from me? What is it? Now? At a restaurant? Isn't it too early for dinner? I'm busy now. Then I'm coming to you. Okay, wait. I'll come and see you there, but... I don't have much time. Um... Yes, I know the place. Hello. Hello. Just water, please. Well, what's so urgent? It can't wait. I wanted to thank you for the amazing promotion and my 15 minutes of fame. This beautiful bouquet of flowers are for the gorgeous woman. <laughs> Due to my stint on TV and obviously to you, I have new clients lined up. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Victor. However, you have to understand, this kind of promotion costs much more than a bunch of flowers. No, I don't need anything myself. Although, the show director is expecting a reward for his support. No problem, how much? No, not right now. I'm not going to hand money to Andre. It would be more appropriate if you talk to him about it yourself. Mm -hmm. He works at the studio every day from 10 a.m. to late evening, mostly in the editing room. Got it. Just ask Halia to assist you in getting in. I see you and this Andre are getting along now. Have you suddenly warmed up to him? Why the change of heart? Mm, my dear Victor, people can change from time to time. In this case, for the better. And most especially when there's someone around to guide them. Oh, so my guys didn't waste their time talking to him. This director is smart. He learned his lesson. Obviously, he doesn't need to know. Mum's the word. Anna, what's done is done. It's a win-win situation. Let's eat. Uh, I can't. Thank you for the bouquet of flowers and the invitation. But I have to go now. We're going live, you know. <laughs> of course. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Here's your order, sir. Olya Valente Livna. I'd like to remind you that we need to order some butter now. Our supply is almost empty. Do you want to go out and buy, or should I be the one? Uh, we're out of butter, aren't we? I can go buy some while we're, uh, for the usual delivery. What do you want, my dear Petro? The one with 72.5% uh, or 82.5% fat? The usual. The kind we always use. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Maybe you want some beer, some smoked fish, perhaps. Liuba, are you crazy? Are you drinking in the middle of a working day? Relax, will you? I can handle myself. Mm -hmm. 
Go back to work. I can handle myself. Mm -hmm. Petro, I'll order it. Mm -hmm. It should be here by tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Liuba seems so happy today. Hmm. Really? I wonder why. You know very well why, Mamolia. Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. I was at the studio. Is something wrong? Uh, I wanted to talk to you about something. I think we might need to feature a few more cottages for tomorrow's show. You chose the mansion. We all agreed on it, didn't we? Yes, but it's always better to have options as a backup plan. Just think about it. Is there anything that you want to tell me? What do you mean? Why don't we go out tonight? You and I. You wanna? Liba, I wanna... Let's go to a concert. I heard there is a, a nice one happening tonight called The Summer Scene, a, a concert featuring a classical quartet. I'm not into classical music and don't know much about it, but one has to go out of their comfort zone. I'm sorry. I have to take this, the concert. Just a sec. Oh, hello? Yes, yes. I remember about the deadline. But you gave me three days, right? No, 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 no. You don't need to look for a new lodger. I'll take it. The rent and also the heating, I promise. I swear. Oh, I see. Another one of his girlfriends. Good day to you, Mr. Director. May I come in? Have a seat. Andre, I'm sorry I came by your office without an appointment. I know you're busy with work, but I won't take too much of your time. Here's what I wanted to say. I'm grateful to you for helping me to get on this popular show. I'm impressed with the power of television, and I'm overwhelmed to tell you the truth. It was cool, and it was a success. After the show, my firm attracted new clients. I think your show is simply the bomb. Congratulations. Yes, a bomb is about right. So anyway, I don't like to be in anyone's debt. What's this? A sign of my gratitude. Scratch each other's backs. Take it with you and get out of my studio right now. Not enough? I can give you more. I didn't know how much you needed. I'm quite satisfied with what I earned. Goodbye. Goodbye then, Mr. Director. You asked if it was enough. You didn't know how much to give me. Who sent you to bribe me? <laughs> Get off me, you asshole. Andri. What? What's wrong? What happened? Everything's fine. Andre, tell me. Don't worry. It's all right. Are you sure? I'm sure. I can see something's wrong. But it is. Would you like coffee? Come on. Hi, 
everyone. Hello. Hello yourself. Anna, come have lunch with us today. We persuaded Lesha Bonadivna to come. <sighs> you go, I'll catch up with you, okay? Okay. Mm. Up to this moment. And now, let's send this little secret to everyone. <sighs> Did you come back for me? I'm coming. No, I wanted to talk to you. How come your sister knows so much about marketing? She came to me to talk about some strategies. She's very talented. She thinks like a specialist. Did you coach her on this? I guess you could say that. Thank you for your kind words about my sister. She can't keep sewing on buttons all her life. No, can she? Let's go. Shall we? What's this? Yes, tell me what is it. This video was emailed to me from an anonymous address. Okay, I admit that Victor Buhai made a travesty out of our show. But this, accepting money from him? I gave it back to him. I gave the money back. Watch the full video, here. set up. I first saw him when we went live. I gave him back the money. Are you telling me the truth? How many times do I have to tell you? I don't have that money. <sighs> the truth will come out anyway. Of course. Because that's what I want. Can I go? You may. Thank you. Why don't we make the visual softer for this shot? Anyway, we were going to blur it to make it look like a flashback. That can work. Artem, did someone enter the editing room before my shift started? Anyone suspicious? <sighs> when did you see Dobrovolsky? You know she's here all the time. What the hell is going on here? Do you believe I take bribes? I was framed. I gave back that envelope. Yes? Vadim Sidorenko, security chief. Andrei Maximovich Popovich? That's me. Please come to my office on the fourth floor. We need to talk. It's really important. Okay. Andrei Bobovich, take a seat. I can explain what happened on that video. You saw. Sit down. <sighs> okay, I'm listening. Why the sad face, my friend? 
You were singing this morning like a proper bride. A bride. That's funny. What's going on now? I don't know, Zoriana. Petro is acting strangely. I don't think Olya has talked any sense to him. This Petro. He's a regular Casanova. I'm all Petro this, Petro that. And him. Some chick calls him and suddenly he can't wait to get away from me. What makes you think it was some chick? It might be about some business. What kind of business could it be? He's a playboy. A playboy will always be a playboy. A ladies' man. Liuba, don't get yourself into a fit. You know, lately, Petra has been upset about something. I'm sure something serious is going on. You should be there to support him. Have you cooked him the pilaf? No. I didn't have time. Olya caught me in the kitchen. Why don't you cook it tomorrow morning, then? Cook it. And act the way we talked about. I'll think about it. Hello, Fred. Could you do me a favor? I need money. 500 rubnias? My son and I are getting evicted. Said he, you owe me. I had been covering for you. For a week. I never asked anything. Now it's your turn. I'll pay you back. Uh, the tickets have been booked. Have a nice vacation. Give my best to your wife. Brilliant. She came in here while I was having coffee with Yana and took the camera. Brilliant. No, she has to confess. She needs to tell the truth. Stressed out, obviously. The security chief summoned me. For questioning. Forgive me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to create problems for anyone. No need to apologize. It's so obvious that this is a trap. Just hang in there a bit longer, please. Everything will... sort itself out and everyone will see this was a mistake. I'm sure they will. Once the reporters find out about this, naturally they'll put the blame on Carolina. They'll say that she's always been taking bribes. You know, if you see weeds, growing in your garden. What you do is you pull them right out. That's wisdom from your mother. Andre, this is a big lie. An unbelievable, ugly, dirty lie. You don't take bribes. They're all mistaken. They'll see and they'll be sorry for this. Hey, please don't do anything rash. I have to find out for myself who's behind all this, who's trying to set me up, and for what reason. I need to do this by myself. Okay, I'll try to stay calm from now on. I, I promise you that. You believe me? You believe I can do it? Do you believe I can prove that I didn't do it? <laughs> of course I do. The whole 333%.
Darling to die. How are you? Oh, that's good. That's very good. Listen, neighbor. Could you lend me a thousand rivnias? I'll pay you back soon. Well, only 500? Well, 500 is fine. Thank you. I'll be right over. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to taste mine too? Of course, gladly. What do you think? It's very delicious. Thank you. Baking is my strong suit. Here, let me give you some more. Mm -hmm. Wait. He left his watch. I'll bring it to his house. But I don't... But what is his address? Oh, right. Oh, yes, the student form. Okay. Be polite with Petra. Don't confront him. Uh-huh. If he invites you in, awesome. And if he doesn't, no problem. Oh, I almost what forgot. What is it? Ajika. Uh-huh. The sauce goes well with pilaf. <laughs> Thank you, Zoriana. <laughs> good luck, good luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry for bothering you. Uh, anyway, uh... Uh, I'm Zana. Do you remember me at all? Uh, I think we've met before. I also go to the same school, uh, the same culinary courses with your father. I is Petro here? Uh, no, he's out. Oh, 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 well, what was that? Did someone fall down or something? Oh, that's... It's just a man, not a woman. Uh, you're right, man. lady. I'm as manly as they come. You'll have to excuse my sorry appearance. You caught me by surprise. I've been cooking. I'm Petro Kaliuzhny's best friend, Enadi. Uh, Mzana. Pleasure. I just love it when I see a man cook. It's very sexy. Uh -huh. oh, well, I brought cookies and Petro's personal b b belongings. He left it at the cooking class. Uh, I see, I see. Please come in. Oh, I couldn't. Please do. Maybe he's asleep, or in his class. Or maybe he just didn't hear it. I'd say the fine art of setting the table is no less than science. For example, the setups for breakfast, going to lunch, and after that, dinner, and the cutlery, the cutlery. Uh, you need to know what goes where, and the napkins. You must never forget that the napkins have to match the dishes on the table. Are you following me? For example, in our house, we only use linen napkins, do you understand? I'll explain. First of all, it's sustainable. Second, it's refined, and third, what, what napkins? Enough about napkins. You know, I always dream about starting my own food business someday. Uh, Here, please uh, sit down. Uh, a fragile woman like you starting a business of her own. You know I admire strong and beautiful women like you. I do. Really? Yes. Well? Uh -oh. So... Then, Hanadi, you said you're Petro's best friend, yes? That's right. His bosom friend. Really? Really. Uh, tell me, uh, how did you two become best friends anyway? Uh, 
Well, we were at the university together. At the university? Yes. What were you studying at the time? Uh, we were both at law school. Law school? Yes. So you're a lawyer? That's amazing. I love lawyers, they're so smart. But it means that, well then, Petro, he's a lawyer too. No, no, he never graduated. I'm the only lawyer between us two. <laughs> uh, oh, I almost forgot. Where is it? Uh, I found this, lying around. It's Petro's bracelet and watch. I believe he left it. Oh, oh my God. Oh no, look at the time. It's funny, time does fly now like an arrow when I'm talking to you. I've overstayed my welcome. Uh -huh. I have to go. All right. Ah, uh, please go and go start your own business. <laughs> <laughs> my thoughts exactly. It was a real pleasure. It was nice talking to you about these things too. You uh, take care and goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks and goodbye. I'm out of here. Right. She's back already? This must mean she likes me too. Welcome back! You? You. Why did you quit your job six months ago? I had my personal reasons. What kind of reasons? They have nothing to do with this situation. From what I understand, you got into trouble and were forced to leave. That's just speculation. I'm not going to explain anything, even less apologize. Are you so sure of yourself because you were hired again on a recommendation from the CEO of Chikasi Silikatbud? He can't be involved in this scandal, can he? I didn't do anything to discredit Denis Dobrovolsky. <clears throat> Listen to me, kid. If you agree now to confess that you took money from your friend, and I'm referring to ex-gangster Victor Buhai, to get him on the air for promotion, we'll give you the option to quit on your own accord without scandal. The first time I saw Victor was at the studio during the TV show. I didn't take any bribes. I don't think Andrei Popovich is the type of person who accepts bribes. Let's not fire him just yet. How can you be so sure? I'm not saying Andrei took the money, but there is no proof that he didn't. Let's wait for the investigation to be completed. Until then, we shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Lest you find yourself later apologizing to an innocent man. I'm just worried that my sister's fiancé is even involved in a scandal. It's casting a shadow over the whole family. Have you asked about how Yana feels about this whole thing? No, I haven't seen her yet. Andri is Yana's fiancé? Yes, they've been together for a while. What? Why are you smiling? It's not important. Andri is excellent as a professional. It's a fact. But this whole situation... looks really bad. Yes, it doesn't look good. I feel sorry for the guy. If it's confirmed that Andre took a bribe, that would mean an expulsion. He should suffer the punishment. Let's wrap this up. If Andre is guilty, I'll fire him. That ends this family powwow. Is Petro here? No, I haven't seen him. How'd it go? It was an awful mess. When I rang, guess who opened the door to greet me? 
That obnoxious cat I fought at the supermarket. He said he was Petro's friend living with him. But there was food on the table. No doubt it was cooked and served by a woman. The decorations, the napkins. I'm sick and tired of this. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure, I'm sure. What else can I do? You should just confront Petro. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. It's still morning, but it's hot already. Zoriana, bring me a glass of water, would you please? I'm melting from the heat of the sun outside. Mm -hmm. So, Olya, can you tell me the truth? Did you talk to him about the wedding? To whom? To him. I did. And? He didn't give me a direct answer, but I think it'll be okay. So then, who was the one who made them breakfast? Huh. Was it the obnoxious guy? It could be him. Or not. Or is there a woman? Uh, late again, Petro? No, I'm sorry. Are you really making a habit of being always late for work, huh? Uh, That's the last time. Uh -huh. Anna, is it true they suspect Andre of bribery? Yes, it's true. They haven't proven it yet, but... Andre isn't the person he pretended to be. Yes, what is it? Is it urgent? Okay, when? I'm on my way. What was it you needed to discuss so urgently? Anna. Please help Andri. You mean you want me to talk to the security department and let this case go? No, nothing like that. I was just going to ask if you can make sure that the security people be thorough to prove that Andri is innocent. Excuse me, how would I do that? I don't even have proof. I understand that. But I'm losing my mind looking at everybody harassing him. Nobody talks to him. They call him for questioning all the time, but there's no result. Yeah, no, I feel for you. I'm really sorry about Andre. I can only tell you that our security guys are doing their job. Please don't bother anyone with your futile requests and worries, especially the Dobrovolsky, since you would put me in an awkward position. You have to understand. They wouldn't suspect Andre. For no reason at all. And on what grounds? An incomplete video? Why is there no ending? Who sent it? No one knows if he put that envelope in his pocket. Quiet. Are you out of your mind? People are staring. You're not at home. I'm very sorry for you and Andre. However, if you were married... The Dobrovolskys would definitely sweep it under the carpet. Family honor is their priority. Think about it. Just don't take too long. Because if the case goes to court, no one will be able to help Andre. Marry him? No. I'm not sure I'm not ready. What are you talking about? A man who loves you dearly is in trouble, and you just keep whining. I really thought you had grown up and stopped being a selfish person. Oh, yeah, the kitchen has been cleaned. I'm leaving. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you, Petro. Okay, see mm -hmm. you tomorrow. Please don't be late again. Okay, oh, uh, I mean, I won't. Mm -hmm. I'll see you.
Well, girls, it's been a long day. We should go home, too. Where's Luba? She just left. What do you mean? She left without telling me? Pedro, I've been thinking of you all day. My feet brought me to you. Uh, all by themselves. Strange, right? Or maybe it's just fate. There is no such thing as coincidence. Why don't we take a walk? We both have a common hobby and it's cooking. It's not just some mechanical process, but an art. Isn't it? Uh, maybe a little. A little? Who is she, and why is she holding your hand? Luba. You, you shameless man. Who are you? Who the hell are you? What right do you have to hang around with someone else's man? Someone else's? Who, who the hell Luba. are you? Who the hell am I? I'll tell you. <gasps> Luba. Luba. I'll show you, bitch. Luba. Witch, get off Luba, me. Calm uh, down. Hands off. The you portal. hear me? Get <laughs> off. <laughs> Crazy woman. Calm down. Calm down. How can I possibly calm down when my fiancé is seeing some floozy? <gasps> your fiancé? Pedro, is this true? Me? Your fiancé? Luba? You must be confused. You mean, Olya hasn't talked to you about it? Olya Valenta Livna? What about? She didn't tell me anything. I don't get it. <sighs> <laughs> this table is free. Why did you want to meet me at the cafe so urgently? Is something wrong? Yana? Talk to me. Are you sick? Have you recalled something? I didn't recall anything, and I'm not sick at all. Um... I need to talk to you about something important. Or rather, make you an offer. What is it? The one I can't refuse. Order, please. T uh, two coffees and two of your pastries of the day, please. I've been thinking. I'm thinking very carefully. We need to get married at once.